Welcome ladies and gentlemen, beings and beasts from this and other universes and you are watching WoW Films and um, today I am on the 4.0 PTR and um, I'm looking specifically at the Holy Paladin and um, I've just got a couple of the spells. Now this is Light of Dawn, it heals for about 4k, it's a cone with a 30 yard range. Flash of Light is quick, expensive, heals for about 7k. Holy Shock, um, about 6k instant. Holy Light, about 2 second cast, heals for about 4k. Holy Shock, then Word of Glory. Word of Glory, um, with 3 Holy Power, heals for about 7k. Divine Light, heals for about 11k. And it's a big, long cast. And um, that's, with, that's based on someone with eye level 232 gear. Now, um, just for the rest of the video, I couldn't... I didn't really have anything that I actually could put on, so I've just got this. Um, about Heldens, um, firstly, they've got an AoE ability, an AoE ability at last. They've got Light of Dawn. It's a 30 yard range cone heal, it's got a 30 second cooldown, and does about 4k healing, and it's instant. Uh, brilliant. Then, Flash of Light, which used to be our go to heal, is now. A one and a half second cast, very expensive, very powerful heal, um, which is kind of cool. And um, then we have Holy Shock, which is pretty much the same, heals for about four to seven k, depending. Um, there is it generates a holy power, and there's a talent which um, uh, which allows us to uh, get a free. A free, well not a free, but a holy shock without its cooldown after we cast a uh, holy light, one in five chance. Holy light has the same cast time, which is a little worrying because it's now our go to heal. 2.25 second cast, um, and it's basically the same as Flash of Light used to be. 4k healing, 40 yard range, other than the cast time, which is slightly worrying. And um, I tried you know, seeing how many of these I could cast without wasting, without uh, running out of mana, using just Holy Light, no cooldowns, and procs from talents. Um, I got through about 45 Holy Lights, and I'd only lost about 15-20% of my mana. So, you know, rather cool healing spell. Um, Word of Glory, um, which you can see on my action bar, is ability 6, um, is also kind of cool. It uh, changes its healing depending on her, how much holy power you have, and um, at full holy power it does about 7k damage. It is instant, it has no mana cost. And uh, then there's Divine Light, which is a big 3 second cast, does huge healing, absolutely huge. Um, what else? Okay, uh, about the cast time on Holy Light. To be honest, I think Paladins are going to be using a huge mixture of uh, Holy Shock and Word of Glory as well as Holy Light because um, because of the cast time you really need to make up for it. So I advise getting the Glyph that reduces the cooldown of uh, Holy Shock and using it as much as possible because not only is it a super low mana instant cast, very powerful heal, um, it also gives you a Holy Power which allows you to cast Word of Glory. Brilliant! And so you, then you can cast that for no mana. So, um, to be honest, I think, although we'll definitely use um, Holy Light a lot, um, we'll also be using Holy Shock and uh, Word of Glory a lot. And um, so that's for just, you know, incoming healing, you know, at a normal rate, those three spells. And... Um, Divine Light, big, big, big heal, is um, when someone's at about 40% health, but it's stable, you know, so um, they're low health, but there's not too much damage coming in, and to be honest, I think uh, it needs to do a bit more healing. Then we've got Flash of Light, which is a um, very short cast. It does cost quite a lot of mana, um, but it does a lot of healing, and it's for, I think it's for... Um, incoming healing that's coming in extremely quickly and um, yeah that's about it and then we have Light of Dawn which is obviously for group healing now um, as for Holy Paladins their mana um, 
I think we're going to be, in all of our free time, I think we're going to be attacking the boss just with melee strikes to regain mana because we've got a seal and a judgment. The seal uh, restores 4% of base mana on melee hit and the uh, judgment restores 1% of base mana on melee hit. So in all of our spare time we're going to be up healing the boss and also that fits quite nicely the play style where you're very nearby the boss because um, when we get to level 83 and we start using Holy Radiation which is, is a point blank AOE um, hot, uh, it'll heal the melee quite nicely as well instead of having to run around. So I think the majority of the Paladin, Holy Paladin's play style after Cataclysm will be uh, standing in the fray um, doing uh, hitting the boss when they're not casting and then maybe moving back 5-10 yards when they are casting just to make sure that they don't get hit by any AOE abilities. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, obviously there is a lot more but uh, I'm not going to go into too much of it other than the fact that your blessings are now raid wide. You need two pallies and two casts one per pally to buff the entire raid which is brilliant because there are only two blessings now. Uh, but you can read up about that on the forums. As you can see, I've only got five auras here. Um, fire, shadow, frost resistance aura have been rolled into one resistance aura, um, which is rather cool. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, obviously, I'll probably keep you updated as more comes out. And uh, thanks for watching.